morning, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. It's Jackie. Hi. Today, we are going to create a different type of activity. We're going to need baking soda. We're going to need some vinegar, food coloring, cups, and a plate. But if you have a bigger container that you might want to use, that's fine. We also need a dropper, but I don't have a dropper, so I'm going to use this. A syringe that I have there from old <laughs> old times all right so Jackie's gonna add the baking soda onto the plate you can add it onto your container whatever you're going to use I would suggest something with some a um, little bit of a uh, little deep in there just so it doesn't hold on go ahead no 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 I want more so you need a good amount of baking soda I will say the whole thing to you Um, you need a good amount of baking soda just because you want to create a reaction. So I hope you guys can see this, how much baking soda we got. It's not that much. If you have a bigger container, you'll need more baking soda. So now I'm going to add vinegar onto these three different cups. And then we're going to add the food coloring on there. I'm going to add three different colors, so that's why I did three cups. If you are using more uh, colors of food coloring, then you need more cups. If you're using less, then you need less cups. So you want to add the food coloring? How many drops? I will say um, maybe five, so it can be nice and colorful. All right. That one, I'm going to mix it while she does that other one. So you want to mix the color and make sure it gets in the vinegar. Good. This one is harder. Yeah. And the last one. So we have the yellow one. This is going to be the red one. This is also a great activity to take outdoors if you don't want to get messy inside. I will definitely suggest it outside. So this is the green one. This is very bright. All right, do you want to get started? So you have to bring it inside, pull it up so it absorbs the liquid, and then you drop it in there. How many drops? Uh, as much as you want. And now let's see if this works, friends. Let's see if there is a reaction. And squish it all around. There you go. There you go. You hear that? That's the fizzing sound it should be making. All right. Let's put that back in here so we have some space for this other color. Let's try this yellow one. It's green in there. It's all right. All right. Let's do the yellow one. And you can see the green, the green in there. Nice. I like that effect. That's the yellow one. You can even, um, if you have enough colors, you can try to make a rainbow out of this. That will be a fun activity to do. And now we're going to try the, yeah, now we're going to try the red one. Oh, that's a lot. But yeah, go ahead. You have all the space on the side. There we go. And here is the finished product. Now, if you want to mix the colors, why not? Do you want to move it around and see what happens? Go ahead. You know, this could be great to mix the colors and try to make a different one. I see some orange forming from the yellow and the red. And I think I see some purple over there. And there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity. I hope you guys give it a try at home. I will definitely suggest this 
in a small amount of baking soda so it doesn't create that big of a mess or take it outside. I hope you guys had fun. Bye. Bye.